Something like what you just saw there is pretty much the dream when it comes to anti-drone individual defense. But countries are continuing to try everything un under the sun, including we have a story. First details on the construction of Ukraine's new anti-drone assault rifle cartridge. Very interesting. The laboratory presented by Brave One is a cartridge with a multiple bullet, according to the information available to Hartpunk. It may even be a low-caliber, upstream, pointed bullet inserted in an elastic tube and loaded behind the bullet projectiles. The flexible hose is torn open by the burning of the powder gases and releases all the projectiles at the moment of firing. It is currently not known whether the pointed bullet is guided more or less gas tight through the slides and fields of the assault rifle or whether the structural integrity of the flexible jacket hose, which is apparently dissolving, is still sufficient for this. However, all the components mentioned leave the barrel through the muzzle when the shot is fired. According to reports, there are no residues left behind that could cause disruptions. Interesting. So basically, it's firing multiple small projectiles from a small tube. Who knows what that tube is made out of, cellulose or something like that. But you have to trust the direction the Ukrainians are going in because they're the ones facing these things on a daily basis. So you can have that dream at the beginning of what you saw in Elysium. But is that a realistic possibility? Well, it might very well be. The idea of loading multiple bullet and using it against drones is not new. Already at the beginning of the year, cartridges apparently manufactured in manufacture from Russia sources appeared, in which several 4.5 millimeter bullets were loaded into a 5.45 by 39 case in a shrink tube. Then, in March, the Russian company JSC NPP. Zavenzda, which specializes in space and rescue systems, unveiled a 4.45mm anti-drone cartridge. The ammunition is set to be, said to be signature reduced and produce a fragment cloud with a diameter of about 25 centimeters at 100 meters when fired from an AK-12. So it bursts midair. And 25 centimeters is about a foot. Think about one metric when you are talking metrics, 35, 25 centimeters is close to a foot in freedom units. 30 centimeters is a foot in freedom units. So we're talking 11 inches, 11 and a quarter inches of a fragment blast. That's pretty decent. Plus the concussion of the explosion itself might have may have the ability not to knock something down. And the Ukrainians are using shotguns. And shotguns seem to be, right now, one of the biggest answers to the drone problem. This video, the best 12 gauge for drones, is a lot of fun. I'm not going to play it, but it's a lot of fun. He goes through every single size of shotgun shell to find out what's best for use against drones. It's pretty interesting, and it's a lot of fun. He just blasts off a lot of rounds. And the Ukrainians, like I said, they themselves are using shotguns in innovative ways. Ukrainian forces have showcased the innovative use of a shotgun-armed drone, effectively neutralizing multiple Russian drones. This anti-drone quadcopter operates by approaching its target at close range and firing from two shotgun barrels mounted beneath the frame. Each drone is equipped with only two shots, enabling it to eliminate up to two enemy drones per mission, which is a considerable advantage in drone warfare. If the first shot misses, the operator has a backup round for a second attempt. The drone's rotatable camera allows the operator to confirm each kill visually. Its primary targets include Russian quadcopters used for munitions delivery and surveillance. In one notable instance, the drone was even directed to engage a soldier on the ground. Using the fixed barrels, the operator skillfully aimed downward and fired at the moving target. 
while the soldier managed to escape and the accuracy at such an angle is limited, there is a possibility the soldier sustained injuries. This shotgun drone has proven to be an effective tool in gaining air superiority, providing Ukrainian forces with a tactical edge in counter-drone operations. How soon is it before we see multiple drone-on-drone -drone air battles using shotguns and other weapons? It's just incredible. The way this is evolving... And the United States is definitely taking note. Publicly available data on the efficiency of the current Ukrainian cartridge compared to the Russian cartridge is virtually non-existent. So that an evaluation is not possible for the time being. The fact that the concept is not a one-way street was already evident exactly one year ago when the U.S. Armed Forces sent a request for information to the, to the industry under the title Dismounted Counter Small Unmanned aircraft systems among other things it called for a cartridge that fires several projectiles in caliber 5.56 7.62 and 12.7 millimeter if one thinks further about the possible further development of the concept in combination with a lightweight and easy to integrate fire control solution on the assault rifle this approach could easily actually bring the drone defense to all troops in the area and again this is the dream, right here. That wonderful airburst cartridge that looked like on the front of the rifle was some kind of laser designator, range finder, emitter, and I'm sure there was a receiver on the end of one of them rounds. Check out the movie if you haven't seen it. It's, it's fun. It's a different kind of movie. But again, if you want to look at uh, just a guy shooting off a bunch of shotgun shells at the materials currently used in the most common drones, he has uh, aluminum, steel, and composite. And he fires every single size of every single shotgun shell at him. It's a lot of fun. Banana Ballistics, be sure to check it out and give them a like and subscribe. They're really, it's, it's really a lot of fun. I enjoyed the video very much. As far as this ammunition here, we will see. But you have to trust the Ukrainians because they're the ones who are facing FPV drone assault on a daily basis. So they have multiple smaller projectiles being fired out of an assault rifle at drones from one sleeved round. Very interesting. Very interesting. As where the Russians apparently have, as we read it here, Ammunition that is said to be, produce a fragment cloud with a diameter of 25 centimeters or almost a foot wide in freedom units at 100 meters when fired from an AK-12. We're on the cusp of a small arms revolution in many ways. We previously saw in the past where the United States was testing, uh, it was like 20 millimeter rifles for lack of a better word, with air fragment, air burst fragmentation shells. I should actually see if I can find that real quick. Let me go back to this article. And I have found what I was looking for there. And I bring it to you here. Bullet technology is constantly evolving, preparing for what it calls the future combat system. The U.S. Army is experimenting with a bullet that can be fired around corners, travel a predetermined distance, and explode. The bullets come in two calibers, the standard NATO 5.56 millimeter round and the high explosive air bursting 20 millimeter. The XM-29 locks on target using a laser rangefinder with day and night optics. 
target information is automatically communicated to the chambered round. A microscopic digital chip in the round programs itself for distance and trajectory, then ignites the projectile, sending it downrange to burst precisely on target. It's programmed to go X number of meters and then explode downward. So the poor devil who's hiding in the hole, thinking he's safe, is going to get a bad surprise. As you can see, the United States has been working on this technology for many years. And the way, and this is in 2010. This video is from 2010. I obviously was able to find some from a lot more recent. However, I am simply bringing something up from 15 years ago to point out that 15 years ago, we had technology verging on what we currently require today. So you could have something like a passive infrared emitter giving real-time data to almost an AI computer on the rifle. As you saw in just, just in as, as an example of this fictional, I'm going to bring it up. Let's say everything on the front of here. There's a range finder on the front and a receiver and the round that's fired receives that information from the passive emitter so it gets the range and everything because that will be a moving drone and will airburst either next to it or if it passes it, it'll airburst after safely. And that is just the fictional bringing forward of the rifle that you saw here in this demonstration. Talking about a 5.56 millimeter round that existed in 2010. So the technology exists. I trust the direction the Ukrainians are going in. But I think uh, we're on a rev we're on the verge of a revolution in small arms technology in the round itself. Firearms evolution has been kind of stagnant for the last, let's say, one hundred to two hundred one hundred to one hundred and twenty five years. Yes, you've seen better machine guns. You've seen better rifles. But what you haven't seen is something that was so breakthrough, like going from the muzzle loader to the rifle, from the single shot to the semi automatic and the machine gun. We're about to see something very similar with the integration of technology and firearms in the defense against the drone. So a good story out of Hardpunk, going through this uh, Ukraine round. It's promising, and again, if the Ukrainians are doing it, you have to pay very close attention to it because they're the ones who are facing this threat on a minute-by-minute -minute basis. So what they think of as a defense is something that we all need to take close, pay close attention to. Also move in the direction that we have the technology and the capability of doing. So, wanted to bring that to you. I thank you very much. If you liked it, hit like. Hopefully you'll subscribe and share with a friend. Let them know that the ongoing struggle against the drone is going to lead to the, uh, lead to the revolution of the small arm. Thank you. Appreciate you.